Hello everyone, welcome to Minecraft Let's Play, I don't know what episode this is, who cares anymore, who cares, throw it out the window, you guys might be wondering what I'm climbing up, and this is the mob farm, this is how much I've done on it so far, you have no idea how long it's taken me to get all this stone brick, but as a result I've gotten a lot of other good things like iron and stuff like that, because I basically just use my silk touch pick to dig through the mine shafts in, uh, you know, our mine shaft, and as a result... We've just been... Oh, God. Oh, whoa! Woo! As a result, we've been getting a lot of, uh... I've just been getting, what is it, smooth stone from it. And then I've been turning that into stone brick for this. And I've been getting a lot of iron and other stuff as well. So, we're going up here right now just to finish up this ladder area. This is the incomplete layer that I still haven't finished. I just did the rest of it. Uh, let me check my map real quick. Hold on, let me move my mic away a little, too. Alright, so we are at Y170 now, which is pretty high up, as you can tell. We're pretty goddamn high up. Look at this shit. Yeah. A little bit high. Ooh, look at that overhang thing. That looks really cool. Arch. Got our beacon still going up. I've lit up a lot of the area now, as you can tell. Those little things down there are torches. But yeah, this is the progress we've had on this so far. It's working pretty decently now, I'd say. I mean, it's kind of a thing where I built this just so that I'd have something running in the background while we play Minecraft, and then, like, I'd go there occasionally and find some goodies, that kind of thing. So, right now it's running alright. It could be running better, but we will see. Let me time this pretty well. Let's see this. Oh, I thought I effed up for a second. Okay, that was cool. Anyways, welcome to today's episode. I don't know what we're going to be doing today. I think... I actually want to make the ice tray this episode, but I definitely have to look up a design on how to make it. Uh, let's put this here. This is my mob uh, mob system chest. All the stuff that I thought I'd need for it. Turns out I don't need these slabs because I've been using stone brick slabs. Um, yeah, here is the area where they fall down. I've added in a crusher system, so that that block. Oh god, that scared me. That block at their head level comes out if there's a guy with armor that survives the fall, which is very rare, but it happens. Oh, why do I still have these ladders on me? As you can tell, I've covered up the floor. This is not permanent. I just don't know what to do with this floor. I kind of want to make it like this, but I don't know how to make a way down that will allow me to have a decent amount of space, because I want at least, I'd say, three blocks. And if I make a staircase, it doesn't, it doesn't go down in a favorable spot. <laughs> so... I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, it's working pretty good, I'd say. Occasional occasional kill. And then I have this running down all the way with hoppers. And this is the final chest that it reaches. Ooh, we got some we got some goodies. We had a few witches in there. That's cool. Got a lot of gunpowder, actually. I This is a lot more than I thought we got. That's actually really nice. Got a lot of TNT coming in, I guess. So, that's cool. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good so far. Why is this switched out? Oh yeah, because I, I got rid of the staircase. But yeah, that's basically why I did this episode. Ooh. Oh yeah, this gunpowder is for splash potions and stuff. How do I get back up? Like so. Alright, let's put all this rest of, let's put the rest of this trash in our whatever. Been using I be it I've been eating bread mostly because for some reason Okay, so I moved I don't know if I showed this last episode, but I made a wire room for my cows, or no, I made a wire room for the sugarcane farm, and then I put cows in there and bred them. And for some reason, every time I bred them, when I'd go back, there'd only be like two when I bred like at least eight or something like that. I got confused. So I opened up this one hole in the ground and they were all in one hole. It was disgusting. Hold on. There should be a decent amount right now. Let's see if we can breed them. Alright, come to me. Yeah, there's a decent amount of cows in here. I just, I like breeding them until it says like there's that limit or whatever, and then I like getting my uh, steak or whatever, but as you can tell, the limit has not been reached yet, so I'm gonna keep breeding them a bit. Yeah, I don't know if I showed this wire, I don't remember, but I had to block off the wiring with slabs just so that. They wouldn't get stuck in there. I think some of them suffocate from getting stuck underneath this sand block when the bud switch, like, or, wait, yeah, bud switch, yeah, when the bud switch, like, goes off, 
but yeah, it's pretty funny. They, I hear him like suffocating. This thing is still working really good. I'm actually really happy on it. The only thing or, or on it about it, the only thing that I don't like is the fact that sometimes it gets stuck on the sand up there, and I have to go grab it. But other than that, it's working pretty good. It's uh, very slow, but I don't mind it. It just runs in the background while I do do other stuff. Um, I actually have a lot of gold right now. Oh, not a lot, but... Oh, actually, let me show you guys the resources I've gathered recently. Don't want to talk for too long because I want to get into the project, but... Yeah. A lot of diamond. I've been finding a lot of diamond, and I've been mining it with this here 777 pick. The triple seven, the lucky, the fortune pick. Uh, I renamed a few of them. We got the silkworm. I need to actually re uh, repair him for a little bit. But yeah, a lot of diamond, decent amount of emerald, which I'm happy about, and the piece to resistance. Look at that. I haven't had this much iron in I don't know how long. Remember, I used it all on the beacon, but we got it back now. Got a lot of lapis, a lot of redstone, and that's not even it. I got all this still that I have to fortune mine, but I'm just too lazy to do it. I hate doing it on coal. Because coal I always have a lot of and I always use it all up. I think I have something... oops. I think I have some iron cooking right now actually too. Yeah, look. Look at all the look at all the iron we have. It's awesome. So this is... a lot of this is going to be going towards the pistons. Actually no, maybe a stack only. is going to be going towards the pistons for the ice tray. I honestly don't know if we're going to do ice tray the dispenser way or the uh the hell it seemed like something was following me ice tray or the uh or dispensers or pistons i don't know yet so yeah i've been uh also what is it purifying some zombie villagers therefore we have a bunch more in here now it seems like they can see the cows through the wall it's really weird see they look up look at it they look up at them and then they're just like i don't know it's weird but yeah i think that's everything I've done so far. I've been enchanting some books. Uh huh. What else have I been doing? There's nothing down this way. Yeah, there's nothing in there. I don't think I need to show you the mines because that'd be very tedious. Yeah, that's that's about it. I thought I did a lot more than I than I actually did, huh? I've actually been kind of meaning to change out this idea of this room. I kind of even want to extend this iron bar thing all the way across and have lava. I don't know. Uh, this is a little thing that I was experimenting with. I was trying to make a minecart system that, uh, like you guys know the things at the banks where you shuttle stuff up. No, I've, t I've already talked about this. I'm just repeating myself. Oh, okay. Never mind. I've already talked about this like a few ups ago. God, I'm... Ow! Huh. Oh, Jesus. If only we could find a creeper. Dang, that was crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoa, that looks really fucking tall now. I like the design on the bottom, too. Like how it's like that. I don't know what we'll ever disguise this into, but it looks pretty cool from, from here. It looks like, uh, almost like the Celadon City... Celadon City? Celadon City Mart. Looks pretty sweet. I'll probably dress it up some other time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. But yeah, today we are going to be making the ice tray, so let me get my uh, materials together, and we will get right started on that. Alright guys, we are back, and I got the materials ready, let me get some ender pearls, because we're going to go head over to the uh, taiga, tundra, whatever the hell it's called, winter biome, snow biome, whatever you guys want to call it. Dang, it's dark outside, so we're going to need to go to sleep. I brought along, I made this design in, um, what is it, creative mode? And now I'm just going to copy it over to here, see how it looks. God. Got a couple, like maybe two and a half stacks of stone brick. Oh, God. And I got 28 pistons. Got a bunch of ice with me so that I can, uh, what is it? So that I can, um, you know, fill the water aspect. And two repeaters and some redstone wire. So I will show you how we will be building this. It's a very simple design. Oh, the snowman's still here. I just need to find a good place to build it. Somewhere with a decent amount of room. I think this would be actually pretty fine. This area right here. Although, we do need a little bit more space than this. So I'm probably going to have to terraform this land a bit. Like so. And 
one like that. I don't know. Should we put it on this platform level or this platform level? I feel like this one has more space, so I guess we'll do it on this one. Uh huh. All right, so I guess we'll get started. Um, first things we're gonna do is, so this is gonna be 14 long and 14 wide. So it's gonna be like, say if we start, see how close we can get to the edge. Around here, I think, I think this is where the tundra stops since there's snow here. I'll do, I'll be safe to play it here. So if we put them along this, Ah, oh, crap, no. We need that one level higher, actually. Man, it takes a long time to break pistons. Okay, so how I was doing in, in creative was I was just stacking them. Like this. Because that's... The, for some reason in creative, that's the only way it freaking uh, points downwards. Weird. So like this. Okay. That works, too. Okay. Dang it. Come on. Yes! Oh! Nice, okay. So we're gonna do this 14 across. Hopefully that works, no, that didn't work. Uh, how many do we have right now? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then here's 14. Darn it, I ran, I need dirt too. I need to terraform this land, but I also need to like wreck it at the same time. So dumb. Oh, and my silk touch pick, I forgot. Or my silk touch, uh, Shovel, damn it. Okay, so like this. And then we're gonna have. What is going on, man? Point downwards. Okay, like that. Cool, that's 14, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, 14. The hard part is breaking these pistons back again. Okay, so we're gonna have to terraform this, like I said, a little bit more. I'm gonna be building parts of this out of stone brick, just parts of it because I don't have that much stone brick, and we need to use all the stone brick we can just so that we can, or we need to save all the stone brick we can to go towards the mob system. When that's finished, then I can keep, then I can, uh, whatever, but for now, I definitely need more of it. Huh. Oh no. I can just build it reflected, so we're gonna have go up like here and then we're gonna need a water block there too so pretty sure this is where I put the other row like so I think oops and then I put this going up here no that's wrong huh hold on dang it Okay, let's see. 14. I'm trying to think, because I did this in uh, Creative, and I don't really remember it that well now. <laughs> I don't know. It was like this. For sure. It was like that. And then we're going to put a water block behind there, too. And then have the pistons lying this way. And then what else we're going to do is... So we're going to need a block around this level. Oops. Oh, that covers grass too. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we're gonna need blocks around this level. And I will use stone brick for this part. Something like that. And then we need one block at this level to hold in the water. So basically we're just gonna do the very easy part of this build today. Because I don't have enough materials to make the pistons and all that for the other part. But yeah. This is how it's basically gonna go, and then we cover it like so. It goes out to the edges, so it's like 14 by 14. It goes out to the edges. Uh huh. Like this. Like so. And then we're gonna actually save or put up stuff on this spot just for wiring. Oops, no, this block can't be covered. So it's like gonna be like this, and then. The wiring, I have it. I have it remembered as something like this. So redstone dust, repeater, repeater. But yeah, let me uh, repeat this to the other side, and then I will come back to you guys when I'm done. All right, guys. So we are back, and I have basically finished it up a little bit. Um, this is what it looks like right now. 
just change everything out to stone brick. We're gonna wire this together, and then here's the lever. Pretty dark around here, so I don't know. Might be a bad thing, but should be okay for now. I'm probably gonna fence this area off as well. So we're gonna wire this up. This goes perfectly, like 14 or something. I don't know why I have the repeater. Actually, I think I need the repeaters. Never mind. But uh, yeah. What is this? Uh, that's from the. That's from the. Uh, that holds the water. Okay, cool. I actually need some torches. I didn't bring many at all. All right, so we're gonna wire this up. What do I have on me that I can use? I guess I'll use dirt. And this should push all the pistons down. That works perfectly. Oh god. Take this! Wah! Nice. Okay, anyways. So, we're gonna pull these up. And which one's my efficiency pick? I guess it's this one. And then the water underneath the pistons should not freeze over. Because. They are not, uh, dang it. Oh my god. Because they are not, uh, what is it? Exposed to sunlight directly? Don't tell me it's leaking out the back. Where did that, where did that freaking block go? Dang it, where am I even digging? Who cares, I'll just fill that in with dirt for now. But yeah, oh, hello. Pick this. Oh crap. Oh! Okay, I didn't think I could switch in time. But yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's not exposed to direct sunlight, so therefore it will not, um, like freeze the water underneath. Only the water that is exposed will freeze. I think that's it, right? Why does it seem like there's need for one more? Oops. Dang it. Yeah, it looks like there, there needs to be one more right here. Not sure. Yeah, there's definitely needs to be one more. Is it right here? Oh no, that's, not, that's wrong. Oh, that, that actually might be right, I don't know. I mean, it filled it up, but I might have put that in the wrong spot. Let's go check, actually. If we did this right, it should start freezing right away. Alright, can you stop bothering me guys? I'm gonna use a pigman sword. Let's go! Okay, for some reason it's not freezing over. Which isn't a good sign. Could this not be... Oh no, it's freezing, Never mind. Okay, so let's see. I think everything's good actually, I think it's fine. Yeah, this is how it's gonna, it's gonna be. Yeah. It's not too bad. Dude, get out of here! I thought I lit up the land enough. You guys shouldn't be spawning. But, uh, yeah, the way this works is, so, 14, 14 by 14, I guess? And then, water along those, all source blocks along this, too, if you guys want to make this. And then, when you pull the, uh, so when this turns to ice, say the whole thing is ice, then, uh, you're gonna harvest it, there's gonna be nothing on the ground. Then you're gonna pull up the pistons again, and then it's gonna refreeze. So that's how it works. I don't know if this is close enough to my base that I can just chill at my base and it'll freeze, but um, another good feature to add. Oh god. Another good feature to add is the. There's like this thing. If you add adjacent. What the heck is this? Why is it. What the heck? Wait, that's not good. Huh. Why is it like this? Why is it not going all the way? That means there's some block that's not not being What is this? Why is it like this? Did I make it too far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 14. 14. Yeah, it should be good. I don't get it. I mean, that, that definitely means I didn't put a, uh... I didn't put a water source block where, I, where it needed to be. But you guys get the idea. That's how it works. It's pretty cool. Um, what was I saying? If you put an adjacent block... This is actually gonna really bother me. I'm gonna fill this up while it's still like this. 
for now. Pretty counterproductive, but stuff like this bothers me. Okay, whatever. Anyways, the way this works is if you add an adjacent block, so like this, something like this, the water freezes a lot quicker around the adjacent block. So you'll see in a second here that the water is going to freeze around the blocks that I'm placing down. Yeah, see, like that. Water doesn't normally freeze like as a whole, or it does, but it's a lot slower. Oops, what the heck is this? I'm placing them in one spot and it's just placing them everywhere. Depth perception, I'm telling you. But yeah, something like this. And the way I would set this up is, just like how Ito set it up, there's he put pistons underneath these blocks and then he, whenever the water freezes over, he would push another lever to uh, fill it up with adjacent blocks, something like that. But yeah, I'm not going to do that yet because I don't have the materials to make more pistons. Like, I have the iron. But I do not have the stone. And I would like to get that mob system done before I use any more stone on anything else. So, yeah. Here we go. This is basically done for now. Pretty cool. I've been using ice a lot recently. It's very helpful. So, this will be a big help. I actually want to go to my base and check, it, check out if this will uh, keep running. Chicken. I need raw chicken. I need it. There's these villagers that trade the stupidest things. 16 raw chicken for an emerald. Like, do you know how hard it is to find chickens in my world? It's impossible. That was like the first one I've seen in the past three days. But yeah, let's see if that thing keeps running. What is this guy doing? Dang, look at that thing. It's an eyesore. It's actually pretty cool, though. Oh, and by the way, good news, everyone. Uh, so I ordered my new computer. And it's going to be here soon. It's pretty good, I, I think. 16 gigs of RAM. And uh, it's an i7. All this stuff. I don't know. I don't know the specs really well. I'm not good with computers like that. But it's going to be here soon, hopefully. And I will be starting to upload again. Uh, so whenever you get this commentary, it'll probably be weeks after I start uploading again. But, you know, whatever. Just tuning you guys in. But yeah, I think I'm actually going to end the episode here, guys. There's not much else I can do in this app without having it go over time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this episode. We'll call it the Ice Tray or something like that. Epic. All right. Love you guys. Peace out.